evening, church family. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday conversation. In tonight's conversation, I'm just doing some updates and um, also some prayer requests um, as we go throughout our night tonight. Um, and our first update I want to start with is that this upcoming Sunday, we still will not be in person, uh, but we will be live with John Thomas and Tommy Oaks. And I talked to them and asked them if they'd be willing to do song requests again like they did the last time they were here with us, and they have agreed to do that. And in order for this to work, you have to be watching service online with us on Sunday morning, um, and we will tell them what songs you all are requesting in the comments of the Facebook video or the YouTube video that's live. So make sure you're watching service Sunday morning, getting involved with us, interacting with us as we're uh, worshiping together on Sunday morning. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you about is a, a special presentation. This was Angie's idea, and uh, we're going to take it and run with it. Uh, we're going to do a special presentation, a video that will go out on Christmas Eve. And what we want to do is get children involved reading scripture or singing a special song. So parents, what you need to be looking out for is for either Angie or I to be contacting you to get your kids signed up to come up here and record them reading scripture or singing their song so we can put it all together for our Christmas Eve service. Um, and if we don't contact you, contact us. Uh, either call me or call here at the church and leave a message, and uh, I'll get back to you. We want to get your kids involved in our Christmas Eve uh, video that we're going to put up. I have good news I wanted to share with you. This week, you know, on Monday was the last day to turn in our Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes. And we turned in 29 as a congregation here at Hampton. So that's a good number. And uh, we're thankful for those of you that did take the time to make an Operation Christmas Child Shoe Box and get that turned into us. All right, I, I want to finish out our video with uh, our prayer request. So. Uh, if you didn't get the call already, and maybe you didn't know this, but Dwayne is actually at home now. Um, he still has a, quite a bit of a recovery ahead of him, so keep him in your prayers. But uh, he seems to be doing pretty well, and just keep him in your prayers. Our next request is for the family of Lecky Stanberry. Uh, this is Michelle Williams' mother. Uh, she passed away this morning, so please keep Michelle and all her family in your prayers. Um... As you know, Michelle's already been having a rough time with Kenny being in and out of the hospital, so this doesn't help. So say a special prayer um, for Michelle in this time. Uh, speaking of Kenny, he's actually home now, and he does have to go through kidney dialysis more often, like three times a week, so he could still use our prayers. We're going to keep him on the prayer list, be praying for Kenny. Uh, just so you know, Danny Ward is not in the hospital anymore. He's been moved to Hermitage, and we'll keep him in our prayers. And the last prayer request I have, or last change that I have, is that Ann Richardberg is having surgery on Monday at Vanderbilt, and they'll actually be traveling down for that on Sunday, so we need to keep them in your prayers. Um, if I did miss any requests, what I ask is that you put them in the comments. Because what I'm going to do is make a list to put up on Friday. So I'm going to make an actual prayer list to put up on our website. So make sure you put those requests in the comments of the video you're watching right now. Or go on our website and do it that way and I'll add it to the prayer list I'll put up. Um, let's do this. Let me pray over the requests that we have and then we will close out today. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the fact that Dwayne is recovering, that he's home now, and that he's starting to do better. And Lord, we pray in this time where uh, he's recovering that you'll continue to give him strength and just allow him to see you at work in amazing ways, Lord, as I'm sure he already has. Uh, we are also praying for Lucky Stanberry's family, uh, for Michelle's family. Show them your grace, your truth in this time, this time of loss where... Everything's uncertain, Lord. I pray that you will continue to be the certainty in their life, that you are good and that you are loving them even through this. Lord, we also continue to pray for Kenny Williams. Uh, even though he's home now, he's still got dialysis multiple times a week, Lord, and we pray that you're with him in that. You give him patience, you give him strength, and you encourage him in this time, Lord. We also lift up Denny Ward as he's been moved to Hermitage, Lord. Uh, we pray that you continue to be with him, allow him to see you at work, 
Lord, we, we know that he could use your encouragement, and we pray that you make it so evident to him that he is loved by you. Lord, finally we lift up Ann Richenberg. She has her surgery on Monday at Vanderbilt, and we pray that you'll be at work through that surgery. You'll bring healing, Lord. And we also pray for safe travels for them as they're heading to Nashville on Sunday. Lord, we thank you for this short time that we had together, and we pray that you continue to be at work and allow us to see you in huge and mighty ways. We love you and thank you. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. As we close, I want to leave you with this scripture as we're going into Thanksgiving tomorrow from Psalm 107. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Remember that as you're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. God bless you and have a good evening.